Freeze. Several students at a local charter school were turned away this morning after they refused to wear a mask for the second day in a row. The kids and the parents believe it is time to have the freedom of choice in schools, just like restaurants and stores. The school's principal says she is following the current rules. KUSI's Dan Plant was at that school this morning and emotions were running pretty high. It's an issue that has broken up friendships and torn families apart. Now, two years into this, it's tearing our kids apart in the one place they're supposed to come together. A lot of the kids, they don't, in my class, they don't specifically care, like, what others actually think. They just, like, think that they can boss around, like, the class if someone doesn't want to put their mask on, then they scream in each other's faces and call them names. We were over when nobody else was. Yes, we do. Was the gratitude then? And while name calling is apparently happening inside the classrooms, outside the building, parents are going at each other. The battle lines are being drawn once again over the ongoing mask mandates for kids in public schools. This is a public charter school. A small group of kids and parents are done wrapping up their faces. So they are willing to come to school. They would love to get an education. They're simply just asking, can we not wear a mask? They're using their kids as pawns. I'm like, no. <laughs> While a lot of parents are not giving their kids a choice when it comes to wearing a mask to school, these parents are allowed allowing their kids to make their own decisions after all this time. You know what? I can actually, these are some of the parents here. Were any of these kids coerced into doing this or was this all the children's choice? This was all us. There you go. It was all the kids' choice. A choice that is not going over well with the principal of Innovations Academy. When the kids refused to mask up, she threatened to drive them home and drop them off. Then she doubled down, threatening to call Child Protective Services if the parents didn't come get the kids. What did you think about this uh, threat to call uh, Child Protective Services? I was pretty upset. Um, you know, that's, that's not a threat that parents take lightly. And when the, the head of the school threatens to do it um, because you're actually trying to protect your kids, I think it's, uh, it's, it's pretty unflattering. This is actually the last thing we were hoping for. I understand this is an amazing charter school and we're not, we were not wanting this to get as big as it did. But in my opinion, it's because of the response or the reaction that Christine did have is why it, why it got as big as it did. So after being turned away once, the kids tried to go back to class again. This time, the doors were locked and you were not allowed inside unless you promised to wear a mask. She asked if I would agree to wear my mask. I said no, and not at this point because it's my body, my choice, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to allow myself to be forced to wear a mask. It's, it's not right. Technically, I guess I can say I was pretty nervous because I'm not the kind of person that's very brave at saying stuff like that, but I still do agree that I shouldn't have to wear a mask if I don't want to. Until now, this charter school was a source of pride and camaraderie for both the kids and the parents. A popular principal, popular teachers, and they remained open when the mainstream public schools were locked down. At this point, they say all they're doing is following state rules so they don't lose their license. And we didn't make the rules and we didn't make the mandate, and so we don't care who the governor is. If they change the rules, then we'll take the mask off. Me, I personally believe everybody should have their personal choice. I don't make the rules, so I can't do that. When I'm able to make the rules, I'll do that. Now that the statewide masking requirements expired, that happened a couple of days ago, a lot of people are wondering why are we still forcing the school kids to wrap their faces, especially when they are the least susceptible to actually getting the coronavirus. Well, there could be some good news coming in the very short term. We understand the government is now thinking, at least, about ending the statewide mask mandate for kids on February 28th, but at the same time, allowing each individual school to keep that mandate going if they choose. We're outside of Innovations Academy. Dan Plant, KUSI News.